do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter morphology of flowering plants in that we are studying topic primary meristem now meristematic tissues were the first tissue that originated depending upon the position meristematic tissues are further divided today we will be studying about them meristematic tissues are the first plant tissues that are formed inside the plant they have an ability to divide into another types of plant tissues depending upon the place they were formed first or you can say depending upon the origin they were first produced first meristematic tissues are divided into three different types primary meristem is further classified or divided into three types apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem so depending upon the position meristematic tissues are called as primary meristem and where they are present they can be at the apical region or you can say at the apex region of the plant basically near the place where the first flower is produced their apical meristem could be present apical meristem is basically responsible for the growth in length of the plant and due to the entire activity which is related to growing of the plant they are also termed as growing point in plants or apical meristem apical primary meristem next are lateral primary meristem now lateral meristems basically occur at the lateral axis or you can say in the branches of the plant parallel to the sides where organs are present where is fruits are present flowers are present nearly to that axis this lateral meristems are present and majority of the lateral meristems are present in dicotyledonous plants so example at the end of a mango fruit wherever the mango fruits are present beside that end or sideways to that near the plant lateral meristems would be present in mango or on the dicots plant for example a fruit whereas monocotyledons like rice wheat have less amount of primary or you can say lateral meristem in them the last type intercalary meristem now intercalary meristem when i talk about this inter means something which is in the middle and now intercalary meristems are basically present inside the stem or you can say the thick part of a plant they are present there in the form of cambium tissue when you chop a plant the white surface area of a stem that you notice is due to intercalary meristem beside that they are present at the sheath of a leaf the lower surfaces of the leaves basically have intercalary meristem majority of the monocotyledons like rice wheat had large amount of intercalary meristem even grasses for that matter have intercalary meristem primary meristem or the first meristematic tissue that is formed in plants is further divided into three different types on the basis of position where they are present on the plant on the basis of axis where they are located in plant primary meristem is further divided into three different kinds one is apical meristem another one is lateral meristem and the third type is intercalary meristem
the three types of primary meristematic tissues could be apical meristem, lateral meristem, or you can say intercalary meristem. When I talk about apical meristem, now these kinds of tissues are basically found at the apex or the head region or the main axis region. They are responsible for the growth or lengthwise increase in a plant. That is the reason they are also termed as growing points or these are the points or apical meristems are basically the regions that are responsible for the longitudinal growth of a plant. The next kind of meristem is lateral meristem. Now they are present at the lateral axis. When I say lateral axis, they are present on the horizontal regions of branches, etc. Even they are present at the regions wherever plants or you can say fruits are located. Majority they are found in dicots and monocotyledons. In some gymnosperms also they are found out. The last kind of meristematic tissue or you can say primary meristem is intercalary meristem. Now intercalary meristem is basically found in stem, the white region of the stem or you can say the cambium of stem is basically due to intercalary meristem. Apart from that they are also formed in monocots, the rice plant, the wheat plant, all these monocotyledons consist of a large amount of intercalary meristem. Intercalary meristem basically are derived from secondary meristematic tissues and at, and at maturity they basically form another forms of permanent tissues which could be parenchyma or colenchyma. Students, in this part of the chapter we have studied about tissues and basically about primary meristematic tissues and how they are classified depending upon the place or origin where they are present. I hope you are clear about this concept. Thank you.